Hey everybody, Josh Garrison here, and in this video we're going to cover using Apollo to enrich either your CRM or a CSV. So let's dive right into it. All right, so here I am in Apollo, and I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the Enrich button along the top or along the left, depending on what your UI looks like. And you'll see that we have a variety of options to choose from. I'm gonna go ahead and start on the left-hand side with CRM Enrichment. You're just gonna go ahead and click on CRM Enrichment, and this is gonna take you to this page. Now, I've already covered integrating your CRM with Apollo, so if you haven't seen that video, go check those out. The first thing we're going to do before we get into any of this is we're going to hit settings. There are some settings you'll need to configure that are pretty important. So there's a lot of really simple stuff that's similar to what we've covered already in the CRM integration videos, but what I wanna call out here are a couple things. First and foremost, Apollo probably has more phone numbers for each contact than you have in your CRM. So you need to make sure you have multiple phone number fields set up. If you don't have them set up, you can create custom fields in your CRM and you can map those here. I'll give you an example. We have mobile phone numbers. We also have corporate phone numbers and there's not a corporate phone number field here. So I'll need to create a new phone number field if I wanna map the corporate number and the direct number and the home number and the mobile number into my CRM. The other thing that I wanna call out is on the right hand side, we have to decide if we want Apollo to overwrite data that's in our CRM. So let's say we have their name in our CRM and Apollo thinks it's spelled differently. Do we want Apollo to overwrite what we have? Go through and decide yes or no for all of these fields. And then also importantly, do we want Apollo to automatically fill the value in if your CRM doesn't have it? I think autofill is by far the more popular choice here. So I'm gonna say, hey, if I don't have a phone number and if I don't have a mobile phone, go ahead and autofill that. And you'll notice that we can only set these up for fields that we have mapped. So it's worth spending some time to do this in the beginning. It's gonna save you a lot of time later. You can go ahead and hit submit. And now that we have configured how we want our CRM to integrate with Apollo for enrichment purposes, we can go back to the overview and into the CRM enrichment. So what this is gonna show us here is all of the potential enrichments that we have. Now, because my HubSpot account isn't real and doesn't have any real data in it, I'm gonna pop over to my Salesforce account. So this is our integration setup with Salesforce. And you'll notice that I have 403 contacts that Apollo has new information that's not in my CRM. And Apollo will tell us what that is. There's this column here, new value from Apollo. For Remo, we have a new phone number for him. We have new cities and we have new companies and new titles. and. 403 in total and 354 on the account level. Often it's gonna be new phone numbers or new shipping addresses and stuff like that. There's a couple different ways that we could go about this. The first is we could just go ahead and enrich everything. We can just say, hey, we're gonna bypass any filters and enrich everything in the CRM with the 760 people we find in Apollo, do you wanna do that? So if you wanna come in and force an enrichment of your whole CRM, you can do that. By far more common, what you'll wanna do is schedule an enrichment. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit add new. One thing that's very popular that Apollo can do for you is enrich when people change jobs. So you have somebody in your CRM, they work for company A, they change jobs, and now they work at company B. Do you wanna push that into your CRM? We have to decide if we wanna do that every Sunday, like on a weekly schedule or monthly on the last Sunday of the billing cycle. And then we can set a credit limit. The maximum you can do are 6,000 weekly and 25,000 a month. I think you may be able to edit these updates based on your plan type. So if you have questions about how to get more, please contact a sales rep for Apollo. But for now, I'll go ahead and say 100 and I'm gonna do it every week and I'll add a name and we're gonna say update job changes for personas. So that's when I get to choose my filter contacts. Maybe I don't wanna do this for everyone that's in my CRM. If I, especially if I have a messy CRM, I don't necessarily wanna be spending my credits on people that don't really matter to me. I don't have to come back in here and do this anymore. Every Sunday, this is gonna run for me. And I can view that by clicking on the data health center, okay? Which is a part of the Apollo home button. So I'll show you what that is. So if I go to home, I can now go over here into Data Health Center, and it's gonna run me through this little wizard here that says, hey, you can connect your CRM, map your CRM to us, set up your personas, and then Apollo will do a whole bunch of other stuff, which I'll show you guys in a different video. Um, but I can see the job changes that I have set up here, are, those enrichments are going to run, and I'll be able to see a summary of what was done from my Data Health Center. So. 
That's how to set up the job change enrichment. I can set up another enrichment here if I wanted to set one up for people who don't have email addresses and I can automatically enrich that into my CRM. Those are the two that you can do automatically. And then as I showed you before, I can run an all enrichment as well if I wanted to do that. The last thing that I can do is I can use filters. So I can come over on the left and I can say, hey, for all of my contacts who are missing values in my CRM, let's enrich those people. I'll show you this example. I'll say for all of my contacts who are missing values in my CRM, I'm gonna go ahead and select those and then I can just enrich those selected. So I can set this up automatically. I can do this manually. Now, if I go back to enrich, we've covered briefly how to do this from your CRM. We can also do this with a CSV, okay? Now, this is good timing for me because I just ran a webinar with a partner of ours, Census, and I got a CSV from them that I wanna use to enrich some contact information. So I'll come into my other instance and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to hit CSV enrichment. I'm going to select a CSV. Now I have to choose, am I enriching people or am I enriching companies? In this instance, I'm going to be enriching people. If I want to hit edit settings, I can choose the standard fields that I want to enrich. And I can say like, yeah, give me their phone and maybe their LinkedIn URL and their title, whatever I want to get there. And I can hit save settings. Now I need to select the CSV to enrich. So I have my CSV right here. These are my webinar registrants. And I have something like 565 people in there. And so now I have to map the column header in my CSV to the field in Apollo. Then I could hit next. And now I get to choose what happens. Do I want to enrich with mobile numbers? And do I want to enrich with emails? In this instance, I say yes to both. And I'm going to hit confirm. And now my CSV is processing. So this is a really great workflow to use if you've come back from an event or a trade show or you've run a webinar and you get leads that don't quite have all the data that you want, throw them into the CSV enrichment. And as quick as that, we're already most of the way through as we're matching these records and improving the contact information that we have. All right, now I'm just gonna show you what that looks like when it finishes. This is what I got back from Apollo. So I can just wait until this is finished and I can hit download, which I got. And now what I got from Apollo has a lot more information. I can just view the report. I can take all of these people and I can add them to a sequence. The world is your oyster. Lastly is we do have the job change alerts. So I showed you how to set those up automatically. Some people don't want that to happen though. They want to come in here and review the alerts that are coming in and then manually approve those. So you can do that just by clicking on the job change alerts tab and coming through and reviewing all of the job changes that Apollo is recommending. And then if you want, you can just select all of the people on the page and then you can either export their data or you can update your existing contacts with the job change. Or if you want to create a new contact from them, you can do that as well. That's a quick overview of the Enrich tab in Apollo and the ways you can set up enrichment. That's all I have for you now. I'll see you in the next video.